All right, this is going to be the installation video for the AK series markers and Dragonos for the Planet Eclipse MG100. First step is going to be breaking down your MG100 to its core essentials, which is going to be your grip frame, your core engine, or whatever you want to call it, your bolt carrier, and the barrel installed. You'll see in a little bit why it's important to have the barrel installed, or why it makes it a little bit easier. Make sure you have both of your detents in and all of your gaskets properly installed where they should be. So the first step, once you get your parts all laid out, is to install the core into the AK body. To do this, make sure your detents in again. Take your hopper port cover insert and place it over or inside your hopper port in the MG body and then just slide in your frame. And here's why it's easy or nice to have the barrel installed because it's a little tight of a fit to get in there. And it kind of clicks into place once it is. And then you can also confirm that it's in place because you're gonna be able to see all the way through um, your little hole right there. Yeah, you can. So once the body's in and you can see there, you're going to take your extended hopper port screws that I include with the kits, back it out to make sure you're not stripping anything, as you can probably notice mine are a little stripped from doing several installs and not always being careful. Back out, tighten in, turn it over, do the other one. And I'm going to say that this isn't even super required, like the kit, once you get the grip frame bolted on, it's going to stay on pretty tight, but this is just an added layer of security for your marker to be in place. And really, I mean, that's, that's it. That's installing the core into the body. You can leave the barrel on or you can remove it. It doesn't really matter. Well, actually, yeah, we'll remove it because there is a part on here that's not as important, but it will be on other AK kits with uh, different levels of nuts installed for different sizes of handguards because this one can only really fit the one size of handguard. Um, not as important. Anywho, so there you go. The AK or the MG core is installed into the AK body. The next step will be attaching the grip frame. And that's just as easy. Take your two grip frame screws. And this is the right Allen key. Back it out. said just as easy right okay and now your grip frames attached as well the next step will be well either one you can either go handguard or stock and yeah, stock's easy we'll go there so installing your stock the way that the AK series works is that there's different stock adapters but they all fit in the same body except for the dragon off which has its own I'm not sure why I did that I just did um, so this one is the carbine stock adapter that uses the 98C buffer tube, which is not included in the kit, but you can pick up on the cheap several places. And all that this really does is slide into this back right here, and then it has a bolt through right here that secures it to the marker or to the body. Also a little tight. Okay, so to install the stock, all you do, it doesn't matter what stock adapter you have, even if it's the folding stock or the full stock kit, slide it in and then use your bolt through. And there, your stock block is attached. All right, I had to cut out because I couldn't find my handguard. I thought I had it um, set up here, but I was taking pictures with it for um, a couple questions that were asking me earlier. Anyway, so now that we have the stock installed, the grip frame attached, the core inside the body, I mean, this is really a complete AK, and you can go out and shoot it like this if you wanted to, but I'm sure you don't. So 
installing the handguard goes as such. And with any of the bases, again, if it's the AK base or the Krinkov base, you have your base right here. You make sure that you have your 1032, or is it 1024? Well, I include the nuts, so you don't have to worry about it, whichever it is. 1024. Your nuts install into the base, uh, depending on the length. I set it up whenever I ship it so that you have the right length. Slide over your handguard, over your barrel, lock it into place like so. And then you go ahead and slide your front block, whichever front block. If you're using a Krinkov, it's going to be just the front sight and block one piece. But on any of the other AKs or the AEK, uh, it's going to be a two-piece unit, like a faux gas block. There's going to be a little hole right here that you slide your bolt into. And that's going to tighten down like so. And you take a Phillips and tighten down your handguard. Okay, so before we go with the front block installation, I'm going to go over something really quick. Um, this one is the stock Planet Eclipse MG100 barrel, or the Shaft 4, I believe is what it's called, barrel. Uh, it's multi-diameter, so it has some parts in it that are... I don't know the actual size, but it's smaller than 7 eighths, and then there are some areas that are actually going to be 1 inch in diameter. So using a barrel sleeve isn't really necessary because there's going to be parts on the marker that are secured and stable on the barrel itself. I mean, it is a complete free float unit, so it's still not going to wobble even if there's no barrel touching it, but some people like the extra um, security or stability. Um, it also does help if you were to take a spill or a fall or take a core sample with your marker. If it's secure onto a, something like a barrel, it's going to be safer from uh, destruction. This is a Milsig Marksman barrel, which this is a 7 8 diameter barrel. So you'll notice when it goes in, this is an A5 thread, so it is going to be a little wobbly no matter what. Just FYI, I don't have a uh, 7 8 inch. I actually, I don't even have any other barrel for autococker threads. So anyway... You put this handguard in, you'll notice that it's really wobbly inside the handguard. That's where this barrel sleeve that's included comes in. Uh, it comes at a kind of a long length if you use any kind of, of the standard handguards, but if you use like the Wolverine handguards or even some Krinkov ones with a multi-diameter barrel, you can cut it to fit. And uh, it's, I would recommend like a heated hobby knife, but you can also just use a hacksaw or a Dremel. Um, I can be able to use scissors because it's just this is just pet G. This is material that's really easy to manipulate. Anyway, so when you slide this barrel sleeve over the barrel and into the handguard, it's going to be nice and tight. So now that barrel doesn't wobble. And you can still remove the barrel with the sleeve on, or you can remove the barrel keeping the sleeve in the system. But that's not autococker thread. I don't want to move the thread, so I'm going to go ahead and put the other barrel back in. The Nemesis barrels are not quite an inch, but they're not quite 7 eighths. And I used to include a sleeve, but they were so thin that they would actually kind of break. So I don't include the sleeve, and people have said that it's not a problem. Um, so there is no sleeve for Nemesis. You don't really need it. It's still going to be nice and stable on there because there's very little room between the barrel and the handguard. 7 8 barrels, though, I do still recommend having the sleeve in. Okay, one important step I missed. So that was barrel sleeves. Um, the next step in installing the kit is to insert your gas front of choice, the AKM slant, the AK-74 little gas square piston thing, um, or in this case the AK-100 series front sight combo. Go ahead and insert that, and before you install your barrel, the reason being so that you can use this machine screw right in here in order to kind of hide it. From sight. So that's nice and tight in there. And now you're ready to install your barrel.
Now you'll notice that because the shaft bore barrel system is skinny up the front, so you're going to have like this little bit of play up here. That's when you could use the barrel sleeve if you so desire. But you will need to shorten it because it gets up to like one inch right here and which would be way too thick for this to work. So if you trim this right here, you'd be able to insert your barrel sleeve and then still have some tip to do whatever muzzle or front sights. I don't have a front sight, uh, a separate front sight because it's installed in the AK-12 system or the AK-100. But the front sight is going to work similar to the muzzle. So here is the printed AK-74 slot muzzle. And then here are the two inserts that I include with every kit. Uh, these are sized for either the shaft four barrel or any Planet Eclipse barrel or actually most of, of your speedball style barrels with just a smooth skinny tip. I think it is looking fit on deadly winds. And then this one will fit over seven eighths threads or seven eighths barrels. So anyway, how you do it is you install your preferred, since we're going to install this directly on the Planet Eclipse barrel, we're going to install the thicker insert. You just slide that in there, you slide it on, however deep you desire. And then you use the set screws to tighten it down onto the barrel. Now you don't want them to be too tight because the material itself will uh, strip out really easily, but tight enough to stay on in order to unscrew your barrel. Uh, so. And, and then now I'm undoing the <clears throat> front and not the whole barrel and then okay so yeah to go over the front sight really quick the separate front sight piece is it'll be the same thing you're going to insert the one of these inserts depending on what size of the barrel is where you're putting the front sight and then there's going to be a single m3 machine screw that tensions the front sight clamps it onto the barrel itself so again the complete barrel is free floating and you can remove it swab it or do whatever you change out barrels just as easily as if there were no handguard on at all. So there it is. That is the AK-12 kit, fully installed on the MG-100 marker. Um, some other things to go over really quick uh, with other ones. So the Dragonov specialty is it has a little clamping piece that goes on the bottom of your pistol grip. The way that I would do the install for that is put on your main stock first and then put on your two bottom pieces second, um, putting your bolts through the bottom of the stock and then the front of the pistol grip right here. And then one other thing would be the folding stocks have a special installation step. Um, this little stock catch right here, what this does is whenever you have your stock folded, this is a slightly flexible piece that will catch on the lip of the stock. So in order to, the way to install this properly is you have to have your kit fully put together and then you fold your stock over, peel off the backing as it comes in the kit so that you have the sticky side. Oh, one other step, sorry. Make sure you alcohol or acetone. Well, I'm going to say alcohol. Acetone might be a little nasty on this plastic. So alcohol, wherever you're going to put your stock folding stock catch, on AK kits, it'll be on the left. On Dragonoff kits, it'll be on the right. Um, yeah, so make sure it's nice and clean and dry, free of debris. Fold your stock over, and then slide the catch onto the lip of the inside of the stock, and then press down where the stock is going to be folded, because it does vary based on model of folding stock. I couldn't make it entirely universal. It was very difficult, but I tried. Um, other tips, oh, this is the AK-12, so it doesn't have it, so I will have to make another video at some point showing the optic system, the blocked optics. So on the AKs, Krinkovs, and Dragonovs, you're going to have the built-in uh, stock rail on the side, which you can use like Airsoft or even Real Steel AK quick detach stock, or sorry, rail systems. Um, or you can use the 
printed one from MagFed Maker, which is going to have extra steps, so I definitely will be doing another video for that. Anyway, so there it is, full install for, or full general install for AK series markers. For AK series kits on the MG100 marker. Thank you very much. This is Ray from MagFed Maker.